What's going on YouTube and welcome back for another edition of Uncommon Sense. On this channel we talk about all things fragrance, fashion, style, mental health, well-being, spirituality, and mindset. So if you're into that type of content, stick yes. around because we're going to get into the top 10 niche for winter 2021. After the jump, we get into that thing. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my, that's my way. First up, we have an honorable mention for this top 10, and it is... Surprise, motherfucker. Ooh Luxuria by Novice Parfums. This one has a Laotian Oud. It's a little barnyardy, a little skanky, but I like the fragrance because it is luxury. It's a bit fecal and animalic in the opening, but toward the dry down, it gets really, really deep leathery and luxurious. It's a little challenging. It's one of those fragrances that you kind of have to work through and wait for the dry down. I usually don't like those types of fragrances. It does have a richness that is unmistakable. And it's probably the Laotian Oud that really characterizes that fragrance and brings out the rest of everything, which is wow. sexy and classy. Coming up to the number 10 spot, Oud Abiad. This one is very spicy and herbal and it does have a very prominent incense note. This one is a repellent of Amouage. And this one has a leatherish note as well. Something nutty about this one that I'm growing to like a little bit more. I didn't care much for it when I first got it, but it's better for this season because this is a fragrance that can cut through the cold and there is an active burning incense that will be found in like a Catholic church or mass. It is an uncommon scent for sure. It's not one that everybody is going to love. Possibly good for layering, and you won't find everybody rocking this scent because it is a harder to wear fragrance. Coming up to the number nine spot, Mancera's Black Prestigium. Mancera's Black Prestigium is one of those fragrances I like to call as kind of like that barbershop fresh. This real sexy and grown man. It has a powdery-ish note, leather, Ooh, and to me, this one smells like the finishing powder that you get dusted on you when you go for a haircut, a shave, or a lining. I wasn't the biggest fan of this one in the beginning until I wore it a few different times. After wearing it a few different times, I started to see the richness, and that's something that I really like about my fragrances. It makes me feel rich, different, sexy, exclusive, that I'm gonna rock with it. Black Prestigion is one of those fragrances. This, I believe, is listed as unisex, and I believe it leans a bit more masculine, like the other two fragrances I just spoke of. They, to me, lean a bit more masculine than other fragrances I've smelled from Mascara that I typically nailed as unisex, but it has such a distinctive woody, leather, powdery vibe. Screams, grown as man. To me, on me. Coming up to the number eight spot, Sarah's Oud Vanille. This fragrance smells very similar to another fragrance I have in my collection, but they differ and branch off in a different way. That fragrance is Shag Off Oud. This fragrance to me smells like a gourmand wood and sweet, sexy vanilla. And this one has a newer atomizer. Mm. This fragrance is extremely sexy. Magnetic cap. It is a major performer. Those two sprays fill up a room. In the opening, it does have a very antiseptic type of vibe, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but these fragrances are made for the winter time, I believe, because they're gonna cut through the cold and really last on your skin. We gotta take a pause for the cause and get into cleansing the palate. These fragrances we've been smelling are really strong. So let's cleanse all that up. It just sniffs so we can get back into this bag. Coming up to the number seven spot. 
Mancera's Gold Prestigium. And as you've noticed, I featured two now in the Prestigium line from Mancera, but these fragrances are grown as men fragrances. Gold Prestigium to me leans probably a bit more on the feminine side, but the vanilla and pepper in this one. Mm, it's such a sexy fragrance. Vanilla smells a bit like oud notes, but this one has a bit more pepper in it. To me, makes it different enough to have both in the same collection. It lasts a hell of a long time. This fragrance has kind of a great Kool-Aid vibe. And it's perfect for wintertime. This is a massive projector, a massive performer, lasting about eight or nine hours on my skin flat and I feel like this is the perfect time to wear it because sometimes the vanilla slash amber in this one can be a bit headache inducing or cloying. Coming up to number six spot, we have a fragrance that I've been enjoying for quite some time now. I'm wearing it enough this winter, we can probably get into that thing and get us a full size bottle. The challenging piece is it's sold out on the website. We're talking about Merimetta's La Le Ba. Lemon Leather Vanilla. It smells like a frosted lemon square with heavy leather. And I'm not talking about that real pretty soft vachetta leather. I'm talking about the cow hat. Sexy. You wanna smell like dessert this winter? Marimetta's La Leather has you covered in lemon, leather, and vanilla. Pause for the cause. Because we halfway through this top 10. And we're going, what? You know what time it is. Palette cleansing time. Coming up to our number five spot. Montal's Oud Maison. This fragrance features grape oud. It is such a sexy fragrance. I actually wore this to my friend's wedding. It smells great the whole night long. You cannot get enough of this fragrance. Now, maybe not you. I can't get enough of this fragrance. Shout out to Lulu for putting me onto this because I did like it the most at first. Like a lot of these fragrances, they had to really grow on me. But once they grew on me, here we are. Ooh. Amazing. It's just such a sexy fragrance that you really cannot ignore. My man D'Angelo told me one of his people said he smelled like fruit and cocaine. I don't know what cocaine smells like. But if it smelled this good, I totally understand because this is such an alluring, dashing fragrance that this one may lean a bit feminine depending on what you describe as feminine, but I cannot lie. This fragrance is the business. So get you some. Alexa, turn on the bedroom strip light. Nobody told her it has to come off. Anywho, coming up to the number four spot, we have La Tapa's Oud for Glory. I have a sample. I have a sample of Oud for Greatness. And this, this fragrance checks all the boxes without the need for spending $300. So, Badi Al Oud, Badi Al Oud, by the top of which is Oud for Glory. This fragrance smells a bit like Tiziana Terenzi Spirito Fiorentino, a bit like BR540, but the difference here is this fragrance has a smooth grit to it. It is very smooth and silky, but it's a little bit sharper, and you will not be able to ignore this one. Oud is in the background and that kind of sweetness and uh, BR540 vibe is so prominent and sexy. That sugary kind of candy floss deal with the oud on the back end. This one to me is perfectly unisex. I've heard some of the ladies in Fragcom say they like this one a bit better because it's a bit sweeter. I, however, feel it's perfect for me because I'm not the biggest fan of the Oud for Greatness price tag. And there's something in the Oud for Greatness that doesn't rock with my skin as well as the Oud for Glory. This is so bomb. I'm gonna be rocking it. Hell out of this one. Then, like I said, get into that bottle. You know what I mean? 
What's not to like? Coming up to our number three spot, we have. Mancera's Black Vanilla. This fragrance features osmanthus, peach, coconut, of course, vanilla. Such a sexy, alluring vanilla. That lasts on my skin. Oh my God, I remember spraying a couple of sprays across the body and some across the back, and my locks got caught up in that scent flow and actually picked it up off of the, my shoulders and back of my neck, and my locks smell amazing. For a couple of days, it's such a large sillage of a fragrance. It has a longevity that is very appreciated. Mancera really does a thing with making sure that fragrances last. And this one is no stranger to that. It's such a sexy fragrance. And some heavier vanillas, in my opinion, need to be worn in the winter. This one isn't the heaviest vanilla, but I feel like this fragrance has the lasting power, the longevity, the sillage and the sexiness to make it more applicable for winter. Coming up to our number two spot, we have Dua's Casino Royale Chariot. Casino Royale Chariot is a Dua version of a blended fragrance of Arfums de Marley Layton and Baccarat Rouge 540. So you have the Casino Royale, Baccarat Rouge 540, and Chariot Parfum de Marley Layton. This fragrance to me, on me, is sexy. This fragrance is an Estrada de Parfum. Most of these fragrances that are listed today are EDPs and Eau de Parfums. Long lasting. We get Apple and that BR540 vibe. This is such a sexy fragrance. And it was a close tie between this and Mancera's Amber Fever that I was going to feature. They smell similar in the BR540 vibe and the kind of whiskey-ish or rum, the boozy sweetness with the apple fruity accords, mixing all that together with amber and vanilla and deliciousness. Ugh, this fragrance is one of the more special fragrances in my collection because it ticks multiple boxes for me and it has some amazing longevity and great sillage. I'm getting it in my mouth. This is of the concept series, which blends most of the fragrances to give you the best of both worlds. I love that. Y'all made it to the number one spot. I really appreciate you for hanging in there with me and watching this top 10 all the way to the number one spot because I'm gonna feature a fragrance that I've not featured on this channel and given positive reviews to because I wasn't the biggest fan of it. But it had to grow on me. Very much. The moral of the story today, some fragrances will require you to really get into them and wear them in different seasons to figure out if they're the best fit for you. The fragrance I'm gonna feature for the number one spot is very much one of those types of fragrances. So, pause for the cause and I want you all to tell me what are some of the fragrances that you're gonna be wearing for this winter in your top 10? What's gonna be in your rotation? Also, let me know which of these fragrances that I'll feature today is your favorite. Have you smelled it? Do you wanna smell it? And what you think about it? Drop the comments in the below so we can get into that thing and have a test on test. The number one spot is gonna to go to Mancera's Red Tobacco. Yes, if you watched any of my lives, if you haven't, I'll leave a card so you can go check some of those out. I talked about Mancera's Red Tobacco. That's here. Gave me a sample of this one, and Tyree Baby told me she give it a try. I wasn't feeling it. To me, it smelled like wet boxes, and I wasn't the biggest fan of it. That's because the opening of this fragrance is more challenging. Heavy tobacco, ooh, incense, apple, vanilla, cinnamon. This is one of those fragrances you really have to wear and get into and let it develop on your skin. It is not a fragrance that you're gonna like right off top. Put it to you like this. It wasn't a fragrance that I liked right off top. I don't know about you. But this screams cold weather, jacket, leather, badassery. Very sexy fragrance and the longevity on this one is crazy. So is the performance. I have no complaints with most of my Mancera fragrances. 
If you haven't been able to tell, most of this list had a lot of Manceras in it. That's because Mancera is quickly becoming one of my favorite niche houses around. And I have the most bottles from Mancera. More than 30. Nobody said that. I don't know what they're talking about. They're lying. Don't pay attention to them. Anyway, Mancera's Red Tobacco is a very sexy fragrance. That's why it made the number one spot. Because it is a solid performer. It projects nicely. It smells really good. And I feel like this one is one of those fragrances that's a bit more masculine lady. I don't know many ladies who wear this fragrance, but if you can wear this and it smells good on you, more power to you because to me, it's just so strong. The thing I think about most is a dude. Probably the leather in this, probably the tobacco. Who knows what it is, but this fragrance is such a sexy staple. And if you've not given it a try, I'm gonna suggest that you do because I had to grow into this one. I had a five mil sample and worked through it. By the time I got down to the last, I was like, okay, I'm getting into this. So the first hour-ish is tough and it could just be that rough hewn tobacco. But when it develops, ah, so damn sexy. Mm. I wanna thank you all for spending time with me watching my videos and sharing my content, liking, commenting. All of the greatness that you do allows me to be who I am. I would not be able to do this channel without your support. So I love you from the bottom of my heart to top to side. All the way around, we lift it up and love on you underneath and put it back down and love on top. How about that? We out. Till next time. Bye. Oh, happy holidays. I hope the new year brings you blessings and the wildest of your dreams makes it come true. Love y'all. Talk soon.